Hello everybody, it's Chad from CD Shaving. I'm just um, I'm doing our video tonight just to explain a couple things um, just about razors in general. I was asked today by a friend of mine uh, exactly how do you change the blade in one of those. Somebody that does not, um, is not currently in to wet shaving but is thinking about going that way. So I um, tried to explain it to them and I don't think my words quite worked so I said you know what I'll just do a video explain it throw it up on YouTube and you can take a look so a couple things I just want to go over some basic stuff um, when it comes to razors there's different kinds um, there's all different kinds out there but I'm just going to give you go over some of the basic ones that are out there we'll start with this this is a straight razor this is not what I would recommend for beginners but this is a straight razor. Um, it has, as you can see, it's a single blade there. This particular one is a round point. It is a gold dollar. Uh, these are the scales and basically it unfolds like such and you can shave with it in this fashion here, right? Or you can shave with it in this fashion here. Okay, but this is a straight razor. This is one of the one. this is the only straight razor I own and uh, you fold it up like that and then you store it away. Uh, I'm not going to get into any care, maintenance, how to shave with them. I'm just going over the basic razors that I have and what you can also get. The next one I have uh, is, this is a Vanderhagen. Pretty sure this one is an aluminum made razor so it's rather light. But nonetheless for functionality, or functionality this particular one is what they call twist open or TTO. Basically, grab the bottom of the knurling, or the handle right below the knurling, and you turn it like such, and you'll see the doors kind of open like that. You see how that works? Okay. You take the blade and you drop the blade on the top, and then you turn the handle, or turn the handle again, close the doors on top of the blade, and the blade ends stick out there, and you shave it like such. Okay. So that is a TTO twist to open. My Vanderhagen. This uh, actually has a blade in it. It's my Mule R41. This is known as a three piece razor. Um, it is a standard, it's an open comb, which means it's an aggressive razor. But um, even if you don't get an open comb and you get a standard. Um, safety razor they will look something similar to this but the way this one this particular one works is the handle you turn upside down and you unscrew it like so and the handle comes off okay and you're left with this okay see how that is see how that looks and what you do is you take this piece off here okay so that came right off like that that leaves you with the blade and then the third piece. Be very careful when changing the blades, but what I sometimes do is I'll hold the, the top part by the sides and just kind of let it go until the blade falls down in my hand. And as you can see, I have a Astra SP blade in here, but that's what it looks like without the blade. Okay, that's all it is. So, in order to load the blade, what I would do is I kind of hold my palm. Actually, no, I usually grab it by the fingers, but to be, be safe, you can drop it in your palm. You take the blade, drop it in so it sits right on top. See that? Then you can grab the top like this and then pinch it by the sides. The reason for that is it's going to make it easier to screw the handle on so anyway um, the sides of the blades here and here are not I don't want to say they're dull they're not they're not sharpened so they're not made to be to cut with you don't cut like this so although it, they are they're somewhat sharp you could I suppose you could somehow cut yourself on it but so just be careful in handling the blade anyway so the blade is in there like that um, next piece goes on top like a sandwich. See how it's kind of curved? Right? See how it's like that? 
and it's curved kind of like a smiley, well, sort of like a smiley face or an upside down mustache. You take that and you sandwich it together. So it'll look like this. Okay. And once that's in there, then you can grab all of it like this. Take the handle and just slowly screw it on. Once you feel it get tight, I usually just turn it till it really, you don't want to cinch it, but just till it doesn't go anymore and then back it off just a smidge. You don't want it rock tight in there. Now, check the blade alignment. As you can see, trying to get it to focus. You can see the blade on there. And you want to make sure that the blade is even on both sides. And in this case, that's pretty darn close. So, and if it's not quite even, you just unscrew it a little bit and move it around. You, there's really not a whole lot of play with these. The blade adjustment with these, in my opinion, is kind of, it's not garbage, but it, there's just, there's not a lot of play. These are not meant to be adjustable. So your blade alignment is not really going to be something that, that's going to be crazy. But you, you definitely want it to be as even as you can on both sides of the blade. But you drop it in there, tighten it down, it's, for the most part, it's going to sit where it needs to be. So that's the uh, straight now. Uh, the other razor I have here, this one happens to be by Razor Rock. And this is what they call a slant bar. You can see, compared to the open comb, and even the, or the twist open, <laughs> that was the twist open, to the open comb, see how they're a little bit different? This one's kind of warped. Looks like this one maybe had a miss, maybe got run over or had a mishap in the factory. And this one's straight. Okay, this one's, you know, slanted like that on both sides. Reason for that um, is for efficiency. Okay, the idea is that it twists the blade when you put it in there because cut a blade cutting at an angle cuts more efficiently. Um, those of you that have ever um, cut fruit with a mandolin know that the blades are usually either like this or they're, sometimes they're, they're, dub, they're like a V, like that, and you run the fruit up through that way and it cuts the fruit, it, you know, slices it. This operates off the same principle. The reason the blades are like this or like this is because it, it allows for more efficiency when cutting. And it's just like when you, uh, if you ever take your knife and you cut through a cucumber, um, you're going to slice through the cucumber. You don't just chop down, that doesn't really work all that well. You want to run that blade through and slice. This is the same idea as you're pulling down because the the blade is canted, it's going to slice through the hairs, not chop them. Now, it's not to say that this doesn't work and this doesn't work. They certainly do. This is just thought to be more aggressive and more efficient. This one is also a three-piece razor. Handle comes off. First piece. Come on. Blade. And your third piece. Okay. You'll see that. You see that a little bit more clearly. That's. War, or it looks warped, it's canted, it's, it's a slant, hence the name slant bar. So, that it goes together exactly the same way. You got your, the, even this piece here, you can see is slightly slanted. Right. Blade goes on top. And this one I, I this particular one I use um, a feather blade because this, this razor I tend to use I use on my head um, and I always use a feather, feather blade on my head so blade goes in there on top handle and you just there you go when I, when, you know, I'm not going to get into storage of these, but 
Again, make sure you check your blade alignment on that, and as you can see, it's pretty good. It's almost right on. So, um, just incidentally, when you do go to use one of these, because um, you won't be using one of these right off. Maybe you will. I wouldn't. That's up to you. But when you use one of these, even this, when you do store it, just store it. I always store it loose. See how that moves around? It's just to kind of let the air go through, and I literally lay it, you know, put it in my stand, or I lay it on the counter, you know, like this. And that's where it sits. So, um, so those are the basic razors that they have. There are other variations. There are other brands. There are other uh, different size handles, different knurlings. There's all different kinds. But for basics, for when, for what I was asked today, if you're starting out. Those are the basics. You have the twist to open the straight razor and then the, either the standard. You can get into open comb, but when you go to buy your first razor, I'm sure you'll let me know. And I don't think getting your for an open comb for your first razor is a good idea, and we'll talk more about that. But um, this is just to basically show you that's how you change a blade in a twist to open and a standard safety razor, as it were, if there is such a thing as a standard um, and the, the stray razor was just an example of an, another razor that you can purchase. So anyway, so that's just a basic intro on, on razors, uh, the ones that they have and some how to change a blade and, uh, you know, probably I'm do another review tonight on a uh, new shaving soap, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and, uh, we will see you next time.